That I completely understand and agree with. This kind of like limits innovation in a sense. Because you can only squeeze so much power out of these consoles. I mean, you, you look at the Wii U. Okay, currently it's video card and setup um, and all the demos. Seems to be a little more powerful than the Xbox 360, Xbox 360 and PS3. Just slightly there. So I'm waiting for the 360 or the 720, whatever, 1080, whatever you want to call it, and the PS4 to have a leaps and bounds over that. I want to see what um, you know these companies can do with brand new technology, technology closer to what PCs can do already. Um, good example, you know, uh, Epic, Epic Games. They've been creating you know the Unreal engines for quite a while now, and they recently released un, you know the demo for Unreal Engine 4. That thing. I can guarantee you needs to be like the base level of what you can do in the next generation console systems. But we need these like three years ago. I'm kind of a fan uh, along the lines of, you know, every five, six years we get a new console. It's so that you can always improve um, leaps and bounds above what you did before rather than doing this incremental, you know, higher up. Or it gets to the point where they're, the companies will go, yeah, this looks really, really good. We can't do it on the current gen. It's going to be shelved until the next uh, next gen. And they've been saying next gen for five years now. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I mean, what are your guys' thoughts on it? I, I mean, me personally, I like it. I know some other people who are, who are wondering why we need, need a new console anyways. Just keep the one you have and they can find new ways of making it better. Uh, I, I think it just needs more. I need more innovation, more, more graphics, more RAM, more processing power, and... I want to see us get past that uncanny valley. So, we'll see what happens. Let's talk about some other semi-video game related news. Uh, you know, Disney's been promoting their latest uh, movie, Wreck-It Ralph. Based on a, you know, a classic video game. And it's a, their, the bad guy of the game goes out and tries to change his fate to go out there and become a hero. Instead of just being the villain for you know 30, 30 odd years. And in the trailer that they released a little while ago, there was a slew of classic video game characters that people were like, oh my god, this is awesome. The licensee rights alone that Disney had to pay for to get these characters in the, in the film must have been astronomical. At the same time, though, they got a lot of the original video game characters' voices, and some people have been doing some of the recent iterations of them, to come in and reprise their roles for the movie. Uh, some of the people on the list that was recently released includes Roger Craig Smith. He's been doing voice for, you know, Resident Evil and Assassin's Creed. And he's going to be in the film reprising role as Sonic the Hedgehog. Kind of interesting thing. A lot of Street Fighter characters are actually going to make their re um, appearance during, and some voiced as well during the movie. Uh, you have Gerald C. R uh, Rivers, who reprises M. Bison. Ruben Langdon's going to do uh, Ken. And my favorite, Kyle A. Bear is going to reprise his role as Ryu. You might remember Kyle from Dragon Ball Z as the narrator. And, of course, he was Adult Gohan in Dragon Ball GT. And a number of other, you know, titles. Uh, Kamina and Gurren Lagann and the like. Uh, there's a couple other characters that the list announced that were going to be in the film. But they didn't list any uh, any voice actors for it. Like Cuber, Pac-Man, Paperboy. Some of the original, you know, classics. I'm wondering, though, because in the trailer, they showed a lot more characters than what was announced on this list. So I'm wondering if there's going to be an extended list released. In either case, this is one of the first Disney flicks in a while, save for Tron Legacy, that I'm really looking forward to. I mean, I haven't even seen Brave yet. Then again, I haven't seen a, a film in a, quite a while. I still need to see The Dark Knight Rises. So this comes out in North America November 2nd. And if you guys haven't seen it, go online, search for the trailer. And just try to list how many, you know, classic video game characters you can spot. Uh, let's wrap up a couple things here. First off, Danny Tube, you know, blogger extraordinaire, you know, fan to, uh, a friend to every otaku worldwide, has been known to be very generous with some of his uh, dealings. I mean, he's been doing Culture Japan over, over in Japan. He has a couple other shows he's been working on as well. It was cool that he actually released a couple of the episodes of Culture Japan on YouTube for worldwide distribution. He also, on my previous show, AX Live, he allowed us to actually show Season 2 um, after our show. And that was a nice way to expand that in the States side. It's actually on US TV now. And he's been doing a lot of cool stuff with his characters Mirai and the a lot. Recently, he released a bunch of these, which is just a bunch of um, 
wallpapers featuring Marai-chan, illustrated by uh, Tatsuku uh, Izuki. Some amazing stuff. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to take some of these. I'll put them like wallpaper on my iPad or you know desktop or whatnot. And then here's the surprising thing when we scroll all the way down to the bottom. He gives you the bloody Photoshop file to do what you want with it. How awesome is this? I can't recall in recent memory people who would actually allow this to happen. Hey, you worked really hard on this. I'm going to give you the raw P, uh, <laughs> the PSD file and you can go and have fun with this. It's been cool. I've been seeing he's been posting a lot on Facebook and Google Plus of some of the fans uses of Marai Chan and this course this PSD file. A lot of the usual, hey, we're just going to post her onto a, a front of a nice wallpaper. Some people like started changing the colors, the schematics. Some people started changing some of the uh, her style. It's cool. It's a nice way to promote his brand even more so, and just you know get the community together. I really, really like this. And Danny, just keep on doing stuff like this. This is awesome. Alrighty. Well, we've been going on for about 30, 40 minutes now, and we just want to wrap up with a couple things. Uh, first off, for those of you guys who have helped us out so far in um, supporting otakolife.net, we really appreciate it. Michael and I have been uh, very thankful. If you guys have been interested in actually trying to help us out, you can always head over to indiegogo.com slash otakulife.net. And you can donate, you know, if you have like five, ten bucks, if you guys want to help us out every once in a while, we would definitely appreciate it. Every fun, Everything we get here is going to the uh, website and to the shows. Things like if we need to get some lights for Michael or maybe a better microphone or stuff for us to cover things uh, out and about. So far we have $80 and I really appreciate for those guys who have donated that. Uh, easy way to get to this actually, if you go to our website, you know, talkolife.net, I changed the little logo here on the side that says click here to support the website. If you guys want to <clears throat> excuse me, uh, donate a little more, like say 40 bucks or more, we would actually send you an Otaku Life shirt and you can be an the standard is in black, but we can put it in a number of different colors and a number of different sizes. It is a little expensive for a shirt, but then again, this is part four to cover the cost of the shirt and for a donation to the website. If you guys are able to help us out, thank you very much. If not, if you don't have the funds, please just spread the word around. This is going to be something we, Michael and I, really want to push forward to the heights of our previous show and even farther than that. We have a lot of plans, and I'm looking forward to see where we can take this with your help. And thank you. Um... As you can see, you know, if you guys seen, we're going to just move at a break right now to Wednesdays. Um, the live stream is going to be Wednesdays at 7. I'm going to try to have the recorded version available online by Thursday at 6 o'clock. Uh, from my mother's basement, it's going to stay on Fridays at 7. And we're going to try to have the recorded version available uh, about the following Sunday. This is going to be, we're going to test this out, see how this works. If we need to move around, if you guys have any suggestions that to different time slots or some ideas to make the shows better, please shoot us an email. Head over to the Otaku Life website. If you scroll down, you'll see on the side that says Anabreak Feedback and Topic Suggestions. If you click on that, that shoots us an email, and you know we read every single one of those. So in wrapping up, thank you guys very much. It's been an absolute blast. And um, we will see you on Friday for Front Mother's Basement and then, of course, next week for another episode of Anna Break. Take care, everybody. And I had the outro set up, but then again, the system crashed. <laughs> oh, well. All right, everybody. Well, thank you very much again. And thank you for your understanding about... I don't know why this thing crashed. I got to look into that so we don't have that happen again. But in the future, uh, if you guys um, have any suggestions, like I said, go to that feedback page, shoot us an email. It'd be awesome. Um, XJC13, I love the live version. I really enjoy doing the live version. That's what I'm good at, I would say, compared to the first five or six episodes of, of, of Anna Break, which it was pre-recorded, and it just sound bad. I mean, I this is this is what I do. So, and it's nice to be able to interact with you guys on the chat as well. So, all right, well, I'm going to work on this and see what happened and have this up for you by tomorrow. So, all right, everybody, thank you very much, and I will catch you next week.